We are told, given that y equals 3 sine theta over 2 sine theta plus 2 cosine theta, show that dy by d theta equals a over 1 plus sine 2 theta, where a is a rational constant to be found. The first thing we're going to do is highlight the final form the examiner wants us to give our answer in, as well as where a is a rational constant, because those are both key in how we're going to direct our answer. So y equals 3 sine theta over 2 sine theta plus 2 cosine sine theta. This is what's called a rational function. And the way you differentiate um, functions like this, so you're given it in the term of y equals u theta over v theta, dy by d theta equals the derivative of u theta v theta minus u theta times the derivative of v theta all over v theta squared. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is assign u theta and v theta uh, functions from our question. So u, th u theta is our numerator, which is 3 sine theta, and v theta is our denominator, which is 2 sine theta plus 2 cosine theta. So let's write these down. u theta is 3 sine theta, v theta is 2 sine theta, plus 2 cosine theta. Okay, so this implies that the derivative of u theta equals 3 cosine theta, and the derivative of v theta is, differenti each, differentiate each term separately, 2 sine theta because 2 cosine theta, and 2 cosine theta differentiates to minus 2 sine theta. Okay, let's plug these all into our expression for dy by d theta dy by d theta, so the derivative of u theta, 3 cosine uh, theta times 2 sine theta plus 2 cosine theta minus, so u theta is 3 sine theta, and then derivative of v theta is 2 cosine theta minus 2 sine theta, and all of this will get divided by v theta squared, which is 2 sine theta plus 2 cosine theta all squared equals. Okay, let's start expanding these. So 3 cosine theta times 2 sine theta gets us 6 cosine theta sine theta. 3 cosine theta times 2 cosine theta gets us 6 cosine squared theta like that, then minus 3 sine theta times 2 cosine theta is minus 6 cosine theta sine theta, and minus 3 sine theta times minus 2 sine theta is positive 6 sine squared theta. All of this is divided by, okay, so 2 sine theta, 2 cosine theta, we first do 2 sine theta squared, which is 4 sine squared theta. Now, the uh, last one is 2 cosine theta squared, which is 4 cosine squared theta. And then we multiply the inner two, which gets us 4 cosine theta sine theta plus 4 cosine theta sine theta. Okay, then. So, the next step is to see what we can cancel out. The first thing we're going to cancel out is 6 cosine theta sine theta and minus 6 cosine theta sine theta. This means we are left with dy by d theta equals uh, 6 and then cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta all over 4 cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta theta, and then 4 cosine theta sine theta plus 4 cosine theta sine theta is plus 8 cosine theta sine theta, like that. And what I've done with the 6 and 4 is I've taken out a factor of 6 from cosine squared theta and sine squared theta, and I've taken out a factor of 4 as well from here, okay. 
This is what I'm going to introduce two trigonometric identities. The first one I'm going to introduce is cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta equals one. And the second one I'm going to introduce is two sine theta cosine theta equals sine two theta. Right, and let's just put that in brackets. Okay then, so let's uh, simplify this. The first one, six cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta will take one. So this becomes uh, six times one over, again, four cosine squared theta sine squared theta. So this will become four times one. And then two sine theta cosine theta can be used to do eight cosine theta sine theta because eight cosine theta sine uh, theta sine theta is the same as four times two sine theta cosine theta, which is just going to be uh, plus, four times sine two theta, like that, okay? So what we can do is we can just uh, rewrite this. So we can say this equals six over four plus four sine two theta. Now, what we can do is we can divide uh, the numerator and the denominator by two because uh, it will simplify them. So we can say dy by d theta by d theta equals three over two plus two sine two theta in brackets. Sorry, I've got brackets on this one. And what we can do then is take three over two out as a factor. So this equals three over two times one over one plus sine two theta. And the final thing we can do is we can say, therefore, dy by d theta equals three over two, all divided by one plus sine two theta. Okay, and just for safe measure, we can say therefore a equals three over two, like that. So this question is worth five marks. Um, your first mark comes from uh, getting an expression for dy by d theta as I've gotten up here, okay? That will give you your first two marks for the question, right? Your third and fourth mark are sort of uh, together, and it's in the sense that you need to use cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta equals one, and two sine theta cosine theta equals sine two theta correctly to get a... Um, representation of dy by d theta in terms of something like this, okay? So six over four plus four sine two theta uh, is enough evidence of this step to get you both your marks. Now, if you've used sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta equals one, or two sine theta cosine theta equals sine two theta correctly once, you will get one mark for it. But if you use them both correctly, uh, both uh, all the time, then you get two marks. Your final mark is entirely taking your answer from uh, this stage to this stage and finalizing at this stage to get this as your final representation of dy by d theta. So this one earns you your fifth and final mark. And just a note for a writing a equals three over two. In the answers, it doesn't explicitly state that you have to say a equals three over two, but uh, it does, re and I'll read it for you, it says fully correct proof with a equals three over two stated, but allow for example, uh, as we've gotten over here. So writing just this will be enough to get you the mark, but some mark seems maybe a bit more strict and require you to explicitly state that a equals three over two. So definitely write it, uh, you don't lose anything and it doesn't take any effort to do so.